Chapter 5, Section 3, Workbook Answers from Journey Across Time. The first thing we're going to go over is the timeline at the very front of the section. In 359 BC, Philip II became king of Macedonia. And in 338 BC, he crushed the Greek army at the Battle of Chironia, and that meant that he was the ruler of all of Greece. Now, in 334 BC, Philip II's son Alexander invaded Asia Minor and started attacking the Persian Empire. And then two years later, in 332 BC, he captured Egypt and Syria. He ended up being named Pharaoh in Egypt at the city of Alexandria that he founded. Then, in 326 BC, Alexander and his army crossed the Indus River and agreed to go home. Alexander would have kept on going, but his men were tired. They were tired of fighting, they were tired of being away from home, and so they stopped there. And that is where his conquest ended. In 323 BC, only three short years later, Alexander died in Babylon, one of the world's greatest conquerors and only 33 years old. Now we're going to look at the questions that you had to answer for homework. Number seven said, why did Philip II invade Greece? He needed to increase Macedonia's strength because his main goal in life was to attack the Persian Empire. And the Macedonian army was too small to do this without help. So he had to get the Greeks to help him, and he conquered them. Number eight, what was Alexander the Great's legacy? Now remember, a legacy is something you leave behind. And so he left behind a world that knew all about the Greek culture that he loved so much. The Greek ideas spread throughout Asia and Africa, and they brought back new ideas as well. The name of this time here when Greek culture was spreading is the Hellenistic Era.